Hi, I'm not sure why you click this video. Maybe the topic just somewhat touches your heart and you want to see more. I guess you are a product owner, a product manager, or anyone who has some authority to influence your product. And these roles often have to take the accountability to bring a product to life and craft a product that customers love. However, the world is not always beautiful. According to my experience of collaborating with various product managers, they often suffer from building a product, but nobody knows they are overwhelmed by the process. For example, you are struggling to provide clear guidance to the developed team and stakeholders, including detailed specifications, overall mockups, or product requirement documents. This can lead to a lack of direction and focus, and make it difficult to prioritize features, make critical decisions, and align the team's efforts. Additionally, you have a hard time getting consensus on important decisions. You have to hold several meetings with different stakeholders to get shared understanding of products. Managing stakeholders becomes challenging when there is no unified understanding of the product's purpose, target audience, or long-term goals. Lastly, it gets challenging for you to define a coherent and well-informed strategy. You don't determine the primary target audience for the application. As a result, the development team may end up creating features that cater to a broad range of users. You are seen to be a copycat, just keep copying fancy features from others and try to fulfill all customers' requirements. Do you know why those happen to you? Your lack of the product vision. Hello guys, I'm Andy, your Agile Coach. This channel aims to talk about Agile practices from life cases in a comprehensible manner, boost the team collaboration efficiency with Agile methodologies, and help people adopt the Agile mindset in their daily life. If you don't want to miss any valuable Agile content, subscribe me and turn on the bell to receive my weekly updates. Today, I'd like to talk about a topic, product vision. In fact, over the past few months, I've published several articles discussing how to make good use of the tool to guide the team to collaborate on the same objectives. Also, I want to share my experience with you as I was working with many product managers, what kinds of mistakes they had made, what consequences they had caused, and what benefits they would get if they applied the product vision. So, why a product vision matters? Try to imagine. When somebody says, Make America great again. Don't you feel inspired? Even you have no idea how this person would do to make America great again. And what he would do to make America great again. The slogan gives the citizens an imagination about their future. And it attracts many people to make something incredible happen. So does your product vision. 13 years ago, Simon Snack proposed the Golden Circle Theory. It suggests that organizations should start with why they exist, then move on to how they do, and finally consider what they do. The golden circle is represented by three concentric circles with why at the core, followed by how and what on the outer circle. And that's exactly the process when you are building the product vision to guide the team, the stakeholders to collaborate on the aligned objectives. For example, I had developed a fitness app, Garfield Fit, six years ago. We even attended a conference to promote our application. Our product vision was driving people to enjoy jogging. But how? We decided to integrate game elements to let people earn virtual coins as they were jogging. So what we did was designing several thresholds to let people unlock Garfield family members as they earn specific amount of money. The more family members they unlock, the more challenging the game was for jogging lovers to keep jogging. And that's the effect a product vision brings for a product owner in the very beginning. Because a well-defined product vision drives the team to innovate solutions to make it happen. Instead, the team becomes passive to what you want them to do because they don't know why. And that's your accountability to resolve the issue. So, how to present a product vision? In my opinion, I would strongly suggest you find a paper or find a whiteboard to fill in the five parts, product vision, target audience, requirements, product, and business goals. First up, you need to write down the reasons why the product should be created. Where does the product will lead the customers to? What status to achieve as users apply it? What kinds of changes should it create? Because you are responsible for providing the vision for the user. Also, the team is empowered by the vision they are going to build, even if they haven't started. 
And then you need to write a persona as detailed as possible. But you build a product from zero. It is almost impossible to fulfill all customers' requirements. Instead, you need to attract the early stage users to help validate if the ideas were correct or not. Therefore, a clear persona will assist you focus on some core functionalities in the very beginning. And the team benefits from it because they know what to do, what not to do, and stay focused on the minimum viable products. For example, as the fitness app I just mentioned, we focused on the jogging lover. This was a specific attribute of customers. Of course, the persona could evolve as more knowledge is learned from releases. It's important for the team to know who they are serving for, not just finish the features and nothing is going to do with them. Besides that, it is requirements that matter to describe the problems the product solves or which benefits does they offer. If you identify several needs, prioritize them and move the most important one to the top. For example, I write a user story. As a jogging lover, I want to insist jogging one hour a day so that I could lose weight. The requirement clearly indicates the pain point the user suffers from and implies we should help him insist on jogging every day. On the other hand, you have to declare what the product is. What are its 3 to 5 features that set it apart from other similar products? Usually, we will categorize features into many themes and further divide them into user stories. I often see many product managers have a hard time defining products because they just copy features from other competing products and don't investigate their core competence. As a result, the team becomes a feature factory and won't self-organize their work. Finally, any product ultimately serves for business goals that are measurable. It tells you how the product benefits the company. What are the desired business benefits? For example, the Garfield family plan will boost the retention rate by 50%, or some payment feature will bring 1 million revenue in half a year. There are maybe several business goals, so remember to prioritize them and move the most important one to the top. If the five parts are fully completed, the team, the stakeholders, and you will get an overview of a product. That includes the reason why it should be completed, how would you do, and what kinds of features you are going to create. A clear product vision provides a shared understanding and a common goal for the entire team and stakeholders. It aligns everyone around the central purpose and ensures that everyone is working towards the same objectives. With a well-defined vision, the product owner can communicate the long-term direction, target audience, and desired outcomes to the team. This information enables them to prioritize their efforts effectively. This alignment and focus foster collaboration, reduce conflicts, and increase overall productivity. Also, it serves as a guiding principle for decision making and prioritization. When faced with various options or features to develop, the product owner can refer to the vision to determine which choice is best aligned with the desired outcome. It helps the product owner and stakeholders make informed decisions, filter out distractions, and avoid pursuing ideas or features that don't contribute to the vision. This clarity streamlines the decision-making process and ensures that resources deliver the most value. Most importantly, it helps to gain stakeholder buy-in and support. By clearly describing the purpose, benefits, and value proposition of the product, the product owner can inspire stakeholders and create enthusiasm for the project. When stakeholders understand the long-term vision and see how their involvement contributes to achieving it, they are more likely to actively engage, provide resources, and support the product's development. This can lead to smoother collaboration, increased stakeholder satisfaction, and higher chances of project success. In this video, I conclude the importance of the product vision, the five parts to build it, and the three advantages it brings for you. If you are a product owner, a product manager, I hope the content does give you some insights and reflections and help you effectively collaborate with your team. I am currently designing an online course about HR project management to help those who have worked up for about uh, 3 to 5 years and would like to land a project management role. If you still have other pain points, now I provide a one-on-one -on -one free online consulting service. You just need to reserve for a web call in the description. I will answer your questions as possible as I could. Just remember to send a private message to tell me who you are through my LinkedIn profile, Instagram, Twitter, or my Reddit account. Otherwise, your reservation might be cancelled.
after the online web call, I will give you a free material to help you grow on the project management skills. If you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe me, and comment below if you have any questions. I'm Andy, your Agile Coach. Bye-bye.